Hello. Thank you for visiting our page. Before we proceed, please let me read you this disclaimer. The information provided on this site is not legal advice, but is provided for informational purposes only. If you are in need of legal advice, we advise you, consult with an attorney. Today, we will be discussing what a cross-complaint is, its process, and its purpose. We will answer the following questions. What's the defendant's position in the process? What is the purpose of this step? What needs to be accomplished during this step? To whom is the cross-complaint sent? When is the cross-complaint sent or filed? How is the cross-complaint sent or filed? And what is the timeline of and what is expected to happen next? We will first start with the defendant's position in the process. Once the plaintiff has filed their lawsuit against the defendant, the latter then files to initiate his or her own lawsuit against the original plaintiff, a co-defendant, or someone who is not yet a party to the lawsuit. The cross-complaint must be accompanied by proof of service and must be filed within 30 days after the amended complaint. The cross-complaint must convey any cause of action the defendant has against the plaintiff who filed the complaint or any cause of action the defendant has against a person that is not already a part to the action but is liable in the issue at hand. So we wonder what the purpose of this step is. The purpose of a cross-complaint is so that a defendant files his or her own lawsuit against the original plaintiff, a co-defendant, or someone who is not yet a party to the lawsuit. It is meant so that the defendant can give his or her claim an explanation on the issue at hand, especially if he or she believes that the plaintiff was at fault rather than their own. Now, what are the requirements of a cross-complaint? A cross-complaint must consist of the same events that gave rise to the original lawsuit. For example, a defendant might file a cross-complaint when he or she had an injury at a stoplight right after he or she had the car fixed at a mechanic's shop. The defendant might cross-complain the mechanic, claiming the fault was the mechanic's and not the defendant's nor the plaintiff's. Who is the cross-complaint sent to? It must be sent to the original plaintiff in the lawsuit. When is the cross-complaint sent or filed? It must be filed before or at the time of the defendant's answer. The plaintiff has 30 days to file a cross-complaint accompanied by a proof of service. As to how the cross-complaint is filed, the defendant must file the cross-complaint to the plaintiff within 30 days. Then he or she will lose the right to convey any cause of action that he or she has against the plaintiff and the lawsuit will proceed accordingly. Now, we move to the timeline or what is expected to happen after filing the cross-complaint. Once the defendant files the cross-complaint, then both the plaintiff and defendant must then file their answers or other responses. These answers are called pleadings, and the pleadings must contain a factual and legal basis for the claim and a prayer for any damages or relief. This has been an overview of the cross-complaint. On behalf of the ULV Center, we thank you for your time and hope this information is helpful in your legal matter.